Hello and welcome to my channel, English Coffee Time with Hafsa. First of all, I'd love to thank you for your support. It's really encouraging me to move forward and dedicate more time for creating new content on YouTube. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, starting from the idea that technology is shaping our lives nowadays to the extent that anyone and everyone now is having a phone and using it on a daily basis. Yeah, our phones became our best friends that we cannot live without and that we depend on in almost everything. So, from this point, I came up with the idea of making a video on my top five phone apps that I'm using almost everywhere and anytime. And I would love to share them with you because I'm sure they will manage your time, organize your educational resources, facilitate your work and get you on top of everything. So if you are curious to know which apps I'm having on my phone and that I'm using inside and outside the classroom for making me more effective, keep watching. My first app is English to English Dictionary. For me, this app is the best dictionary app for English teachers of all time. I've literally tried a lot of applications before, but I've deleted all of them except this one, my favorite one actually from the kind. You might ask me, but why this app? Simply because it's free, it works offline, it does not include any ads. It has the content of a full dictionary. Can you believe it? It has precise definitions, audio pronunciation, phonetic transcription, example sentence of the word you're searching for, word of the day surprise to expand your vocabulary, synonyms, antonyms, translations, and it enables you to save your favorite words all in one. Additionally, it keeps a track of recent searches you did and allows you to copy and share the dictionary content with your network online. All these features are available offline. My second mobile app is without doubt. I love PDF. This walking PDF tool, I may call it, is absolutely wonderful in saving time and effort to boost your productivity. All you need is to install it on your phone and enjoy its tools. Primarily, it works as a mobile scanner of an impressive scanning quality. It simply matches affordability with functionality. And it has many useful features, including the edge detection as you see, filters you can crop, rotate, and save your PDF. Secondly, as teachers, most of our time is spent on searching for appropriate educational resources and editing them most importantly. Now, editing has become the easiest task you can do. Simply, you can organize your documents throughout page numbers or organize PDF tool, edit them throughout edit PDF, Converting PDF to Word, yes, and Word to PDF. My favorite tool, actually, and I'm sure it will be yours once you try it. In addition to merging PDFs, two PDFs actually in one, or splitting a PDF into several ones, and so much more than that, like protecting, signing, or unlocking, a PDF. My third app is an application that I have discovered only this month while planning to make this video. It's called Badr App. I've contacted its creator and he's actually a Moroccan teacher of English who's doing a great job by turning such an inspiring idea into a national project. 
All I can say about this app is that it's a must-have for an English language teacher and even learner. It includes almost everything, literally everything you need. Common core lessons, back lessons, which do have some common points between the Algerian and the Moroccan national curriculums, grammar lessons with tasks and corrections, functions, quizzes that you can take advantage from to diagnose your student's level, articles to enrich your knowledge, short stories that can be adapted into a reading or listening comprehension lessons, a dictionary, which includes definitions and examples, a translator also from Arabic to English and vice versa, proverbs, song twisters, even jokes to motivate our students to learn and have fun at the same time. Also, it includes a free library which involves some amazingly collected educational resources such as daily life expressions and even teacher documents like already made lesson plans and imported documents that every teacher should have in his bag. More than all the previously mentioned advantages, um, it incorporates some offline educational games that I'm personally enjoying in my free time. And also, it doesn't have any ads. My fourth app is School Planner. It's useful since it enables me to manage my school schedule effectively. It reduces the daily stress we all come across, which is not finding time to do all what we are planned to do. It includes a personalized calendar, agenda, areas to recall things you want to come back later or to remember, as simple as that, your teacher's information, and even other teachers' personal details that you'd love to mention on your phone the time you need to contact them. I believe it's easy to add information like your timetable, grades, if you forgot your grade book at home, to keep track of everything related to your job as a teacher on a phone. It's like a professional to-do list planner in which you can include reminders, periods of tests, exams, and even plan for homeworks for your classes. My last app is called Document Manager App. As teachers, our work depends on a variety of important documents that we'd love to reach out whenever and wherever we are. Each time I'm surfing on Facebook groups, I find some really useful documents that myself I would love to adapt in my classes. And I see some teachers always commenting with the same remark. I couldn't open this file. I couldn't reach out to that file. There is a problem with the file. There is no problem, actually. The problem is not in the file itself, but rather you don't have an application on your phone that you can use to open the target document. So, this application can be used to open all types of documents only on your phone. The case for words, PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, zip files, everything you want to open and reach out to only from your phone. So these five are my absolute favorite apps that I enjoy using all the time. That's why I've shared them with you today. I hope you find this video helpful and that you feel inspired to try one, two, or all the apps I've just shared with you today. So please uh, let me know which apps you've just knew about and enjoyed using on your phone. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on my channel if you're not already doing. That's all for today. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video.